Okay, so if your CMS collection inside of Framer is getting way too long, and if you actually wanna paginate this with different pages or just something that you can easily switch between without actually loading too much for your website visitor. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add pagination really, really easily inside of Framer. Let's go. So here we have a CMS collection inside of Framer. And as you can notice, there's quite a lot of items here. So what I wanna do is paginate this. So maybe three or four only show, and then you have to click on next and next and next so we can continue through this list. So what I'm gonna do is actually head to superfields.io, which you can find the link down below. And we're going to get the uh, account and we're going to actually grab the pagination component. And it's really easy to set up. What I'm gonna do is simply collect this component right here, yeah. fantastic. And then I'm going to go back to my Framer project and I'm just gonna paste that onto my page. And you'll notice we've got this new component here called Superfields. So what I'm actually gonna do is now grab my collection list and I'm gonna move this off the canvas. So let's just drag this off like so because we're actually going to connect this component here to our collection list. So let's just click and drag that to this collection list and let's set it like so. All right, fantastic. And now let's actually set up some of our styling here. So let's go back to Superfields. Let's grab the pagination buttons. Let's paste them onto our page. Okay, fantastic. And let's say we want the labels as well. We can paste them on. Okay, great. Let's change the layout of some of this. And now I can just configure my settings within here. So let's say we want the limit to be three items per page, we can do that. I can even tweak some of the styling in here as well. So whether I want it to be a button that says previous or next, or whether I want it to just be a load more, we could do that here too. We can even tweak the styling of our actual numbers here. So let's say we wanted to make this a little bit smaller, a little bit bolder even change the font, we can do that here. So I reckon what I'm gonna do is actually change the fill color of these buttons to be something a little bit more accented. And let's make this weight a little bit bolder as well. All right, cool. And let's change the width of this to be say 500 pixels, maybe a little bit more. Cool, this is looking quite good. So now all I need to do is preview this and you can see our CMS items are limited to three per page. And if I click on next, you notice it'll load the next three and then the next three and then the next three and so on. And if I wanna go back, I can do that here as well. Now, again, if I wanted to change this, so say if I wanted this to just load more and we just have one button, I could just have that. And then you notice when I preview that, press on load more, it loads the next story, next story, and so on. And that's it. Now, if you want other power-ups for your CMS as well, you can add things like favoriting, so like like buttons, add things like dynamic filtering, which is like the most advanced way to do filtering with your frame of CMS, or even social sharing for your blog post, so it's easy to share. So if you do want to add pagination to your frame of website, again, just head to superfields.io, get an account and then just install the pagination component just like in this video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you want more Framer content like this, consider subscribing to the channel because we're putting out new Framer tutorials every single week. Until then, I'll catch you later.